Hi Aries, welcome to your May reading. This is for Summer Rising Venus. Check out your other placements for additional messages as this is a general reading. Messages may or may not apply. Just take what resonates and leave what doesn't for the next person. I can be picking up on someone around you or someone you could be dealing with so you might have to swap the roles. If this reading doesn't resonate right away and maybe something that happens down the line, if you'd like you can keep this in your back pocket or you can come back at a later time. We're going to take a look and see what messages need to come through for you guys for the month of May. See what you guys could be currently dealing with or what you can expect get some insight with some guidance and overall see what's going on i hope you guys are doing well if you guys are interested you can check out my instagram at jadestone tarot and with that being said let's get right into this reading starting off with some affirmations for aries summarizing venus for the month of may any affirmations please for aries okay this doesn't want to shuffle anymore we actually just had a card flip out we have messages coming out any affirmations for aries summarizing venus for the month of may 2021 oh new learning and we have a little saying about perception coming out okay whoops let's talk about it so messages finding answers in life comes through emotions thoughts knowing and your heart add logic and it will bring confusion affirmation i know new learning the wolf teaches you to know who you are. Facing your fears is one of the greatest learning experiences and shows us how to change and grow. Affirmation, I am learning. And we also have this little saying about perception, okay? The glass may be half full today as yesterday it was half empty. It is the same glass. It is the same liquid. The prism of change is you. Tomorrow it will be filling endlessly. And then at the bottom it does say a beautiful soul is now with the angels. So obviously this is not going to apply for everybody. But for like the small group that I could be picking up on. Because this card rarely comes out. Um, and it actually did come out when I was prepping this deck. And I was like hmm I wonder if it's going to come out in the reading. And it did. I was like okay. My condolences to anyone who has recently lost someone in your family or someone close to you. My heart goes out to you and those who are affected and I'm sending you all my love. Okay, but this also just talks about perception. Okay, so that little bottom message might not apply for very many people. Um, but I just had to throw it out there. So let's talk about this. In the month of May, there might be some things that you are wondering about. There's things you're trying to get answers on or trying to get clarity on something there's something that already is within you like this truth that you've been searching for i think it's already within you you're just needing to learn to listen to what your gut is trying to tell you what your higher self is trying to tell you or like for example uh, if you've been having certain dreams paying attention to the signs and trying to translate it to what it represents to you not about what someone else thinks or what Google says that um, dream might mean, but what it feels to you. How did that dream make you feel? How did that thing make you feel? And like going inward and thinking about it, really the answer does reside from within you. And this is an opportunity for you to learn to trust yourself. Um, I'm also getting in the month of May, you guys may be facing your fears or pushing through, you know, discomfort, pushing through your comfort zone, Queen of Wands energy. Some of you just want to be in your comfort zone, right? But things haven't been the most rewarding, the most fulfilling. You're needing to perhaps step out of what is comfortable, stepping into the unknown. That might be very scary. But this is an opportunity for you to grow, to learn, and to know more about you. And it also creates change. And I do think in the month of May, as we have this card talking about perception, half glass full, glass half full, glass half empty, I said it backwards, perception, how you see things, how you view things, it's going to change from day to day. Some days you're going to feel blue heavy, down, sad. Some days you're going to be feeling on point, happy, fulfilled, like excited. You know, there's always going to be a change in your perception. But just to remember that how we look at things really does shape our realities. And so if there's something in your life that you're unhappy about or there's something that maybe you're needing to make a change, you do have the control to change that. The perception of change is you. Okay, so if you're unhappy and your glass is half empty, how can you look at things differently? Or how can you change things in your personal life that's in your control to make that glass turn to half full? or looking at both sides at least, or just like changing your perspective on something, okay? Adding logic will just bring confusion. So needing to listen to your own inner knowing. Hmm. 
Okay, let's get some animal oracle messages to go along with this for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in the month of May 2021. Any messages for Aries, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in May 2021. What's going on for Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Any animal oracle messages for Aries, please? For the month of May 2021. Any messages for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in May 2021. Oh, we have the turtle. Oh, and the panther. Okay. Panther did come out in Aquarius's reading. We also have the turtle. Okay. So we have water and fire coming out. So there's the energy of you guys needing to cleanse, needing to purge, needing to release and clear out anything in your life, in your heart, in your mind, in your physical space. Time for a cleanse. Time for some spring cleaning. Time to get rid of the unnecessary. It's time to dust a little bit, get rid of that dirt, and just do a nice cleaning. If you need to release some emotional things, now is the time. Use this energy to your benefit. Okay, beginning of May, it's important to just let shit go. Let go of that toxic relationship or that unhealthy environment, or maybe you're needing to move somewhere, or maybe you're needing to walk away from something. Whatever the case is, this is the time for you guys to just let something go once and for all. Maybe some of you have been knowing you should be doing it from within, but you've been trying to use your logic to justify, oh, but I shouldn't because this, or making excuses, right? Um, and you know maybe your perception on that's been changing or your understanding on something is changing in the month of May. Either way though, so some of you might be fearful of breaking away or leaving something behind, but when you do that, this is actually an opportunity for you to grow and learn more about yourself and learning about your value and not settling for less, okay? Um, you know, it's scary but that is how we grow. So you guys are learning about yourself and that might mean that you have to walk away from certain things that aren't good for you, okay? We also have the turtle coming out and the turtle talks about someone who has obviously gone through a lot. They carry their experiences underneath their shell for later use. So, you know, it was about forgive, but don't forget, right? Don't forget the experiences that you've went through. Don't forget the lessons that you've learned. And I was saying that heavily to Aquarius. Some of you may have strong Aquarian placements in your chart. You may want to consider listening to the reading because that was, I think, a message. And I also think Capricorn had that forgive but don't forget kind of energy. So, but I get, I'm just saying with the turtle, it talks about keeping these experiences in your back pocket for later use whether you have to use them down the line or never again but just using this wisdom that you've gained from past experiences and applying it to whatever you're going through right now and what's yet to come the turtle is someone who is very creative this also is the energy of a teacher or someone who's a writer or someone who helps others out with their own experiences, they're able to make a difference in other people's lives. So kind of like therapist energy or teacher energy or, you know, some sort of professor where they teach, you know, whether it's one person, whether it's a whole room of people, based off their own experiences, they can help others. Sometimes this talks about writing or journaling or being a songwriter, something like that, but where you can turn your experiences into wisdom and knowledge and sharing it with others to help others go through, to help others avoid going through similar things that you've gone through or something like that. Or like, for example, if someone comes to you for advice, you're able to give them really good advice and you help them on their journey you know things like that so that's really good energy to be in um and i'm also getting like that slow and steady wins the race energy so if something maybe is taking a long time to get off the ground or to move in a direction and maybe that's a bit discouraging or frustrating which i get that but you know you're moving slow and steady there's no rush and you'll get to your finish line <laughs> don't you worry okay so let's pull some tarot messages see what's going on for you guys for may 2021 for aries summarizing venus any messages for aries please for the month of may 2021 what's going on for aries please aries summarizing venus i'm like really stuffed up right now so i apologize there's just been so much crap in the air but finally it's starting to rain and freshen up everything around so i'm like thank goodness because i am sick of this <laughs> but then before you know it it's gonna be like pollen and fluff all up in the air and i'm gonna be having allergies and i'm not looking forward to that so <sighs> oh well it is what it is 
All right, so messages for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of May 2021. Any messages for Aries? Okay, this deck doesn't want to shuffle anymore. It feels kind of stuck. So let's just get into it. Oh, <laughs> we have the King of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. Okay. Messages for Aries. We also have the Nine of Cups. Let's get one more for Aries. Summer Nights and Venus in May 2021. And the Fool. Okay, well, there's your energy coming through. We also have Aquarius coming out twice with the Fool and King of Swords. We also have the Ten of Cups, Eight of Swords, Three of Wands. Okay, I'm just going to set this here. Let's see. I'm just going to move that and move this. Because we'll clarify some of these and see what's going on here. So I'm just noticing something right off the bat, just with these three cards, the affirmations at the bottom, King of Swords, Four of Pentacles, and Nine of Cups. So King of Swords affirmation is, I trust my ability to make a strategic decision. Four of Pentacles says, I trust I'm always safe and protected. And Nine of Cups says, I trust the flow of life. So there's something about you guys needing to trust yourself this month, trusting your own discernment, trusting what you want, the path that you're on, trusting that things are unfolding with time, trusting your own inner knowing, trusting that you are protected, you are guided, right? And that's literally what the fool says. I'm guided and protected on my life journey. So there's something about trust or needing to trust yourself this month. Um, there definitely is the energy of wish fulfillment coming up in May, which is exciting. And this wish fulfillment brings some sort of new beginning. And this might even be regarding your love life or your romance, or say you're already in a romantic relationship. Maybe you guys are taking things to the next level or you know, moving in together, getting married or starting a family or something like that. I am getting the energy of that. Um, if that's the case though, there are some fears or there is something, it's like maybe something's moving a lot quicker than you anticipated or you expected, um, or you have been holding on to a certain idea or mindset that isn't maybe what you expected or maybe it's something that's out of your control and it's about your perception you're needing to be aware of what you're thinking as well as being open-minded to the other possible to the other possibilities it's like some of you are really closed off to a certain idea or a certain way of being living or an opportunity that's being extended towards you and you're like no it has to be exactly the way i planned the way that i envisioned and it can't be anything else my way or the highway but maybe you're needing to be a little bit more open-minded we'll see what exactly this is with the four pentacles because there is something that you could be holding on to or like maybe there's a bit of a fear coming at play here a fear of like losing control over a situation like wanting to have complete control over the outcome or something like that right because we have the ten of cups which is a really fulfilling card in your relationships in your home life in your own romantic life right and like i said we had that nine of cups which talks about wish fulfillment and you know all that you ever dreamed and wished for but underneath the ten of cups we have the eight of swords almost like there's these fears that could either sabotage or you could get in your own way or it's like you're fearful of what happens if this happens you're fearful of what if this happens what do i do what if something out of my control happens and i lose out on this opportunity or it all goes to shit or you know and that's your mindset that you're needing to be aware of um we also have the Three of Wands, because this is about the future. So there's fears about the future. Three of Wands, Eight of Swords. You're a bit fearful about what's yet to come. You're fearful of losing something that means that you're fearful of losing something that means a lot to you. There's fears about, you know, things being too good to be true. Remember what we think we attract. If we put enough energy towards that, if we really put that out there, we really believe that then we attract it. So I think it's very important for you guys to be aware of what you're thinking, what you're putting out. And just to practice mindfulness this month, okay? Just because you may have these intrusive thoughts or fears that come up does not mean it's going to be the reality. 
but it can really get you worked up and there is a lot of anxiety i'm kind of feeling it you guys like it feels a bit heavy like there's something really good coming to you guys in the month of may in your relationships in your own personal life where you have all that you wished for and you're needing to trust that it's yours that you're not going to just lose it all of a sudden or wake up one day it's all gone it's all lost like you're needing to trust that it's all going to work out in your favor some of you are really scared and so it's like you're trying to control it because you're fearful of things not going the way you expect or the way you plan but i think you're needing to loosen your grip it's like when you take a handful of sand and i've said this quite a few times on this channel you take a handful of sand you hold it loosely the sand stays in your hand. But as soon as you hold on tight because you don't want to lose the sand, what if it goes? What if I lose it? What if I drop it? What if this? What if that, right? And you squeeze onto the sand, the sand goes through the cracks and you lose it because you held on too tightly. So have a loose grip. Take your hands off the wheel and trust every little step, the flow, okay? So I think when it comes to you guys needing to release certain things in your personal life, um, releasing mindsets, releasing fears, releasing these feelings, maybe even discussing them. If you are in a relationship or if this is in your home life or whatever situation where you've been kind of like fearful and wanting to control, I think it's important for you guys to acknowledge where this stems from so that you're able to work through it, okay? This is an opportunity for you to learn to face these fears, right? Because at the end of the day, they're just fears. It's not actually happening. It's just an illusion. It's not, unless it's actually happening right here, right now, it's just possibilities, but there's many different possibilities. There's only going to be one outcome, right? You got all these different opportunities of what it could be, but really you're only gonna go down one of those roads. Yes, you can turn around and go down this one or go down that one, but at the end of the day, you have one option. You can choose one of them. <laughs> all these fears that come to play, most of them aren't going to come true. So just try to remember that. And I think that's something that you guys are needing to work through in the month of May. And so as you're working through that, I think it's important to not rush into anything, to take your time with the turtle and the three of wands, especially if you are fearful, especially if you're in a relationship, maybe it's taken off and you're scared, right? Then voice your needs, talk about it, and just move at a slower pace, as well as taking the time to gather up your energy to focus on what it is that you do want. Because let me tell you, when we get tired, we get more stressed out, we get more anxious, we feel kind of in a funky mood, right? Our perception about the glass and the liquid, we look at it from half empty instead of half full because of our own perception, because of our own mindset, because of the energy we are in, the feelings we're in. Do not allow your feelings to control you, okay? It's time to get control over your feelings and not let them override you. You can do it, it takes practice, it takes mindfulness, but you are capable. When you start becoming aware and you start practicing mindfulness and being more self-aware of the things that you're telling yourself or how you're speaking to yourself or the things that you're um, indulging in, you know, then you're able to unlearn certain mindsets or certain ways of living, things like that. So I think it's just um, you guys in the month of May, just to kind of summarize what we've gotten coming out here. It's like you're needing to work through your fears of things not going to plan or things that are really out of your control and to have more trust and more trust within yourself. Okay, so we're gonna start clarifying, get some more details. So what's happening here? I do wanna take a look into this Eight of Swords and see, okay, so what are these fears exactly? What are you so afraid of, Aries? Because you're needing, you're needing to release yourself from these mindsets or, oops. I almost dropped it, but like you could end up blocking yourself from a lot of good things if you allow it. You don't have to allow it. We all have fears. We all have things that we're scared about, but it's important for you to push through it with the strength, with the courage and move at your own pace, right? You don't have to rush into anything, but to not let it control you or hold you back, especially when it's something that is amazing or something that you really, really want. Okay, Eight of Swords for Aries, Summer Rising, Venus in May 2021. Tell you the Eight of Swords, please. Two of Cups did try to come out. So again, fears about a relationship or fears like, what if they're going to leave me? What if this happens? What if this happens? Okay, tell you the Eight of Swords for Aries, Summer Rising, Venus in May 2021. 
Okay, five of cups, five of swords. Yeah, you guys, this is what you're fearful of. Eight of swords for Aries, the tower. They're fearful of, hold on, what, what, what? You're fearful of something happening that you don't see coming, where you end up getting hurt, where someone walks away or someone leaves you or someone stabs you to the back or leaves you for someone else. Like that's kind of like a fear that's in the back of your mind. Um, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Wheel of Fortune, the Four of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, and the Two of Swords. And the four, wow, we have the Four of Swords too. There's a lot of healing that needs to take place. So some of you may have abandonment issues. I'm just saying not to throw you under the some of you have abandonment issues okay right fearful someone will leave you probably because of past experiences and things like that right and so there's a bit of um fears of the past repeating itself even though it's a new situation or it's a new relationship you're fearful like what if they're gonna leave me like everybody else or you know you're possibly projecting past experiences onto something new i'm just saying if that's the case that's okay we all have things like that i've been there right lots of people have to be aware of when we're in that mindset right because it's almost like this is the energy of you guys being in bed tossing and turning you can't really sleep and so you just start making up all these worst case scenarios of what if this is gonna happen what if this is gonna happen what if this is gonna happen oh my god what if this what if this what if this and it's just like oh like it's just it's very it's very stressful, okay? And then, like, always thinking that you're just gonna get left behind and you're gonna give all you got and then they're just gonna leave. Like, and I think that's something that you're needing to work through. I also feel like if that's the case and that's a fear, some of you may be very closed off to new relationships or new friendships or new opportunities from coming in because you're afraid of it either being too good to be true or it's really good and then it just gets taken away like that's kind of the fears so we have clarifying the eight of swords these fears that aren't actually there keep in mind these fears aren't actually there these are just illusions and i think maybe some of you are becoming aware of these illusions with the tower there might be this breakthrough that you're having here in the month of may about these fears maybe there's going to be some sort of realization that you have from within right your own inner knowing that you realize oh my god this idea this mindset this way of thinking this way of believing is stemmed all the way back from something happened to me 10 years ago, 20 years ago, when I was a child, whatever, right? And you're recognizing it's something that you're needing to break free from. When we look at the tower, this is actually really interesting. This, this is the backside. The tower is actually not even harmed in this card. It's just a breakthrough of a mindset. You are having a big realization about the way you've been perceiving something, about how you grew up with this particular way of thinking or believing, or how you've been in similar cycles with different people, different opportunities, but yet they all seem to have the similar theme or similar lesson behind it. So when we look at this tower, the tower is still standing strong. It's the people that are falling out of the tower that are being burned here. Right, this this way of seeing yourself and seeing your future self, seeing your younger self, and how that's changing. Notice the eye on top of the tower. Sorry about the lighting, you guys. Your perception on something is changing. This is huge. You're recognizing the illusion. You're recognizing that it's just you're playing this out in your head. Worst case scenarios that aren't actually true. This is huge, you guys. So I know it's uncomfortable, I know it's scary, but you guys are actually overcoming some really major shit this month. Things that have been deep, deep, deep within you. There's the fear of abandonment, the fear of someone walking away after stabbing you in the back or betraying you or hurting you, leaving you for someone else. There's the fear of disappointment, the fear of loss and feeling defeated, feeling not good enough, feeling not worthy enough. And that's all coming crashing down, this belief and you're getting some sort of answers, you're getting some sort of clarity. Ooh, this is intense, Aries. 
but this is gonna be positive. I know right now it's like, oh fuck, it's like big tower moment, big realization, big like awakening here, but this is actually gonna be super positive for your future because you're removing these self-limiting beliefs and these fears that you've been holding so hard onto that it turns out it's not even the truth, right? Because maybe you haven't fully trusted yourself. Maybe in the past, you didn't listen to your gut, didn't listen to what you felt and you just went with it and then you ended up getting screwed over. And so maybe you have trust issues with yourself. You have difficulty trusting your gut, trusting your intuition, trusting your own inner knowing. And so month of May, you're on this new quest, this new journey, learning to trust yourself, learning to believe yourself, learning to like, and again, trust is not gained overnight. And so this is a process that you've been on for a while. And this process requires you to break through certain things. And it's time to purge, it's time to cleanse, it's time to release, it's time to recognize these things that have been stemmed so, so deep, deep down. It's time to work through this and you are and I'm proud of you. Good job, Aries. Okay, so we already kind of talked about this four of pentacles, four of cups. Underneath that, though, we have the wheel of fortune, which talks about change. This tower moment, this realization that you're having illusion versus reality. You're starting to see things differently. Again, it's about your perception. It's about your perception. Your perception on something's been changed here. Okay? Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Um, let's take a look into the King of Swords, or should I look into this Four of Pentacles? We'll take a little look into this Four of Pentacles for Aries, Summonizing Venus in May 2021. Tell me the Four of Pentacles for Aries, please. In May 2021. By the four of pentacles for Aries, summarizing Venus in May regarding this reading. Okay, we have the six of swords. Nice. Kind of the four of pentacles for Aries, summarizing Venus in May. That didn't come out for a reason. Kind of the four of pentacles for Aries, summarizing Venus for the month of May. These cards are like not coming out. There we go. Ace of swords. Beautiful. And the three of swords. So this is what, this is what is going to help you. So you guys, these illusions, these fears, it stems from a place of wounding. Wounded inner child energy, perhaps, or something that happened way back. There's still a fresh scar. There's still a fresh, there's still a fresh wound that you are working on healing. And healing takes time, but also requires work. You can't heal if you don't put the work in. If you don't put the work in, time helps you forget helps you numb, helps you suppress and pretend it's not there. It's locked away in a little box in the corner that you forget about. And now it's like you're rediscovering this box that you stuffed away and you're like, what's this? You open it up and you're like flush with all these different emotions and feelings and triggers and you're being asked to look at it. Ooh, you know, it might be because we have Pluto retrograde going on for the next six months in the sign of Capricorn, which is also a cardinal sign. All cardinal signs going to be feeling it. Everyone's going to be feeling it, but the cardinal signs, especially Cancer Capricorn, going to be feeling it. So it's going to be an interesting time. Um, Pluto retrograde is really asking us to go inward and work on the underworld, our shadow selves, digging deep and recognizing, you know, wounded areas within ourselves so that we can transform. It's about um, death and rebirth. Scorpio rules the eighth house. Actually, Pluto is one of Scorpio's rulers. So there's a lot of death and rebirth, transformation, rising like the phoenix kind of energy. Okay, so I think you guys are probably picking up on this. You guys might be going through this big awakening, this big death and rebirth process, okay? We also have Mercury Rush Grade coming up at the end of the month in the sign of Gemini. So again, depending on where it's transiting in your natal chart, that will give you an indication as to what areas are being highlighted for you. Each house represents a different aspect in your life. And so depending on where it is transiting based off what your ascendant is, right? Because your ascendant's the first house. Um, it can give you an indication as to how Mercury retrograde is going to affect you as well as even Pluto retrograde, depending on, again, which house it's sitting on and what your ascendant is, things like that. It's really going to help give you an indication as to like what areas you're going to be looking at during this time. Okay, so it's going to be 
pretty intense, right? We went from having a couple months with no retrogrades, we were free, we were just soaring, moving calmly, and now it's like, okay, time to look at our shadow selves, time to do the work, time to heal, and so that's what's happening here. And so you guys went along your business, la 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 la, and you're like, oh, what's this box? You open the box and all of these fucking woundings and things you haven't thought about for a while, yeah, it's coming to light and you're needing to take a look at it. So these three of swords, it's important you take a nice look at this, okay? Instead of ignoring it, pretending it's not there, and keeping those swords in your heart, it's just doing more damage. And so it's time for you guys to look at things with this clear perspective so that you can break through this, where you can have a new understanding, gaining new answers, a new perspective, and that leads to movement. Six of Swords. Okay, so that you're able to break away from this, able to let control, let loose of control, letting go of control, um, <clears throat> the need to have control. <sighs> Let's take a look into the King of Swords for <clears throat> Aries, Summer Nights and Venus in the month of May 2021. Okay, kind of the King of Swords for Aries, Summer Nights and Venus in the month of May. Hello? Can I shuffle? Oh my god, I'm like, what's going on? Tell me about the King of Swords for Aries, Summer Nights and Venus for the month of May 2021. Okay, let's get into this. Can I have the King of Swords for Aries? Whoa, Kim, there is that Eight of Swords. Confronting these illusions. You're confronting what's not real, but it's in your head. And it's in your mind and there are these feelings and your feelings are valid even though this isn't a reality even though these worst case scenarios haven't come true it still feels legit right when you think about it it feels real right maybe you've dreamt about it but it's about working through it okay let's see king of swords for aries summer rising venus for the month of may whoa okay um, we have the Knight of Cups backside. We also have the Hermit Virgo energy. So there we go. Going inward, reflecting. I'm going to set this down. Reflecting. Gaining a new perspective. Gaining enlightenment. Over where these fears stem from. And when you go inward... Right? And we had that at Ace of Swords, that new perspective, that breakthrough allows you then, once you kind of recognize these things, you're able to actually leave it behind. Right? Let me show you. How, how did this come out? Wait. <laughs> like, it came out like this. Okay. So kind of like... No, I gotta look at my screen. Kind of... Okay, wait. Hold on. There we go. Notice in the... the I can't even speak, you guys. The Hermit, he's shining a light on the Eight of Swords. He's shining a light on these fears, these illusions that aren't actually really there, right? And then we have you guys walking away or leaving it behind. Um, again, with this King, not sorry, not King, Knight of Cups backside, there's a bit of that energy of... You know, again, I'm, I still am getting this a bit of, like, abandonment issues. Or, for example, maybe you are the type of person to sabotage relationships so that you are the one in control and you call the shot so that you don't get left behind. You're the one who does the leaving behind so that the roles are swapped, so that instead of you getting hurt by someone leaving you, you leave before they leave you, right? But that isn't the best way of handling things, okay? Um... We have death reversed coming out on the top, or is this the bottom? I didn't pay attention. Is this death? Yes, death reversed. So this is a bit of a cycle that you've been on for a while, possibly repeating a cycle, but you're being aware of it now, right? You're aware of it. You've gotten this new understanding, right? That's why we had the tower come out. And so it's almost like, because we have the death card reversed or backside, the seven of pentacles and the wheel of fortune so it's like you're recognizing this cycle that's been repeating itself the seven of pentacles you're literally sitting and looking at it you're looking at the cycle that's been going on and on and on or how you've been repeating something or 
as you are beginning to unlearn doing that work with that Herman energy. And as they're doing the work, you're actually creating change. So bravo, Aries. Bravo. So moving forward, let's take a look into the three of wands. Three of wands for Aries, Summer, Rising, Venus. Tell me about the three of wands for Aries, Summer, Rising, Venus in May 2021. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Did y'all see that? Where did it go? Okay. First of all, okay. We have the world beautiful the world did we have another card fly oh yes we did judgment y'all judgment and i think that might be it because i don't see anything else nope okay my hair <laughs> drive me crazy so we have the world in judgment coming out wow you guys the fact that that just like flew out too <laughs> i kind of just want to leave it like that um so we are. I'm not even going to bother looking at the bottom. I feel like that was all we need for this Three of Wands energy. So for the Three of Wands, talks about you guys visualizing what you want for your future, how you're going to get there, imagining what things could be instead of focusing on these fears or these illusions of worst case scenario. Is Now it's time to look at things from best case scenario, right? You guys are breaking old habits right remember we had that death reverse energy that backside repeating a cycle and then i said you guys were kind of looking at these cycles analyzing digging through them and working to the root of the issue and then that creates change well there we go with the universe the world big 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 cycles been closed Congratulations, you passed the final exam, Aries, and you moved up to the next level. You have been congratulated. Oh, just kidding. This is the lovers. I thought this was judgment. I thought this was judgment. Turns out it's actually the lovers. Okay. <laughs> I really thought it was judgment. It's a very similar card. Um, I didn't even pay attention. I just looked at it. I was like, judgment. But okay, you just let's just go based off that energy. I felt judgment energy using your discernment, using these past experiences to help further you. Because when you are repeating cycles, it's because you haven't learned the lesson yet. You might think you have, but clearly you haven't. Otherwise, you'd be on a new cycle, a new journey, a new lesson to learn, right? Because we never stop learning, we never stop growing. And so when you guys became aware of the cycle you've been on, something switched in your mind. You started unlearning certain patterns. You started making, um, having breakthroughs, your perception was changing, you started to purge things out of your life that were not serving you, recognizing certain fears, certain mindsets were just mindsets, it wasn't actually reality, and that changed everything, right, <laughs> really big, and so with judgment that I thought came out, turns out it didn't, but we're still going to talk about it because I feel it's important, it talks about that final call, have you learned your lesson, have you truly understood and then applying the wisdom i don't know now it's gone <laughs> now it's gone it's like okay we'll leave that there um we had the lovers coming out okay not judgment the lovers gemini energy coming through i am getting a little bit of you know communication energy running short errands trips um you know making a lot of phone calls scheduling things i am getting a little bit like you know third house energy as Gemini rules the third house, and then we have the three of wands, so I'm getting a little bit of that. Um, as for the future, this talks about your future commitments, right? And then we do have the ten of cups, nine of cups, so wish fulfillment. Some of you are getting into a commitment, or you are in one, taking things to the next level, right? Because when one door closes, another door opens, so I'm just saying... Okay. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. We actually have the Nine of Cups on the top and we have the Nine of Cups here. I was going to look into that. Uh-huh. All right. No, let's look into the Fool. Tell me the Fool for Aries, Summer Nising Venus in May 2021. Tell me about the Fool for Aries, please, in May 2021 for Aries, Summer Nising Venus. Tell me about the Fool for Aries, Summer Nising Venus in May 2021. Oh, <laughs> Knight of Swords coming out. Kind of the Fool for Aries. Summer Nights of Venus in the month of May 2021. Page of Cups. <clears throat> Time of 
Sword of the Fool for Aries, summarizing Venus for the month of May 2021. Okay, Two of Swords and the Five of Wands. So you got some sort of message coming through, perhaps a message of love or getting to know somebody, depending on circumstances where you live, of course. Some of you may be going out on dates or getting to know someone, right? There is something that's taking off pretty quickly. So if this is a relationship, I could understand the fear of things moving too quickly, right? Because I was getting a little bit of that energy earlier on in this reading, right? And so someone might be extending their cup to you or an offer of love to you. And there might be a little bit of hesitation on if you want to take this to the next step or take this to the next level. There might be a little bit of uncertainties. And so there's a bit of a struggle inside of you, okay? When it comes to this new start, this new beginning. Bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Decision, and Ace of Cups. So yeah, literally, here we go again. <laughs> I'm just repeating myself. You have a decision about a possible relationship. And I just dropped the card, Seven of Pentacles. You have the possibility of a relationship starting or moving to the next level or evolving, growing in some sort of way. But it's like you want to take things slowly. You want to take things slowly here. So if that's the case, just voice your needs. Voice how you feel. Communicate with honesty. Maybe that's something that you are also learning to do is speaking your own truth instead of, you know, pleasing others or trying to do things to make others feel happy or whatever needing to put yourself as the first priority you guys like some of you have a fear of again this being too good to be true or something like that four of cups and the page of pentacles ace of pentacles i'm also getting regarding your work some of you have been feeling bored or just haven't been seeing really many results but that's because things are moving at a slow pace but just because it's slow doesn't mean it's not happening or nothing's coming out of the situation. It is. It's just developing at a slower pace. So I am getting that energy as well. Yeah, slow. Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. It's very slow movement. And so if that's the case, even with that Four of Cups, when we're talking about this relationship, you wanting to take things slow, I wouldn't be surprised if the other person on the other end who's kind of rushing things may feel a little bit discouraged or like fearful maybe you guys aren't on the same page maybe they feel like um you're not interested or there is a little bit of rejection they feel so just i think just communicate how you feel if this is new love coming in or if this is a current relationship that you're in it looks fulfilling right nine of cups ten of cups and if you have any concerns worries things that you're needing to speak up about please do recognize it voice them and if you need to slow things down, slow things down, move at your own pace, okay? We're just gonna leave it there, honestly. I'm running out of time, so we're just gonna wrap things up with some Takashi messages. This is a pretty intense read, Aries. You guys are <sighs> unlearning certain mindsets, certain patterns that you've been on for a while, working through fears, especially fears of abandonment or fears of not being good enough, um, working through control issues, which, Pluto retrograde, it's going to highlight control and power and things like that. So that's going to be interesting. It's also going to highlight things regarding your career sector as well as Capricorn talks about that or a symbolic of career and finances and, you know, your schedules and things like that. I don't know. I can't think right now. Let's just get some Takashi messages. It's just going to be an interesting time for you guys. Um, but you got this really perceptions key and when you start ugh, what the hell is going on with my speech when you start finding yourself feeding into these fears or some sort of fear comes up ask yourself to look at things from a different perspective okay look at all angles before you freak out okay there might be something that you're just not seeing and trusting your gut trusting yourself okay takashi messages for Aries, we have wisdom coming out. Any Takashi messages for Aries, summarizing Venus for May 2021. We also have allowance and risk, okay? Allow yourself to take a risk. We have wisdom coming out first, okay? So wisdom, living your knowing and walking your talk. This is turning your knowledge into wisdom. 
You can do it every day in millions of ways, not just talking about it. You are always wise. Do not let your self-doubt undermine your knowing. Be wise in your decisions as you take into account of all circumstances. The wisdom of river of all knowledge is available to you. Allowance. Allowance. Non-judgmental and unconditional love. They go hand in hand in hand. When you find yourself criticizing others, look at what you're not allowing in them and in yourself. Allow yourself to be who and how you are without judgment. This allows space for change and growth. Allowance is the well-worn, well-loved, worthwhile pathway to peace. Travel it and risk. Risk being yourself, risk having fun, risk loving, and risk living. Life is full of risks, nothing is guaranteed. Risks are easy when you trust yourself and flow, but do not take physical risk at this time. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Give a new idea a go, take a chance on something new, change your routine, and be different. Take that bloody risk. Take that leap. Trust yourself. Don't let these fears hold you back. Work through these fears. They are just perceptions that aren't really true okay you got this it's a big month for you guys lots of learning opportunities needing to trust your own inner knowing connecting with yourself remember perception is key there's many different angles you can look at a situation i'm just saying um work through it cleanse whatever is not serving you and you got this okay so it's a bit of an intense month i ain't gonna lie but it's nothing you can't handle ground yourself, stay strong, you got this Aries. So that is what I got for you guys for the month of May. If you guys found this helpful or insightful, please let me know in the comments below, as well as leave a like and subscribe. If you guys are interested, you can follow me over on my Instagram at jadestonetarot. And with that being said, I'm gonna let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care.